Welcome to Britpop's React. You're me, BP1, we are. BP2. Uh, I'm back. We're back, and he's back. Uh, if you've not watched our previous Elvis one, uh, which was myself, uh, Poke Solid, uh, Poke Solid Annie, Poke uh, Solid Annie, indeed. Um, which was uh, really enjoyed that one. It was really good fun, and he was on form, uh, Mr. Elvis Presley. Here we've got an American trilogy. Mm. Um, Aloha from Hawaii, uh, live in Honolulu, 1973, which is quite interesting because we just recorded the um, American Uncommon Items. We had a vanity plate from Hawaii uh, from Aloha for Magnum PI, wasn't it? Um, I think maybe Aloha. Oh, Aloha, sorry, Aloha. My oh, again, uh, oh, your accents. pronunciations are rubbish on this oh, channel. We know it. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, Aloha from Hawaii, live in Honolulu, uh, 1973. So, um, American Trilogy, I'll just bring you up to speed. Uh, 1972 song medley arranged by country composer Mickey Newbery, uh, but it was popularised by Elvis Presley, who included it as a showstopper, made up of three songs, Dixie, uh, The Battle Hymn of the Republic, and All My Trials. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Straight away in that suit, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wish I was In the land of cotton All times are not forgotten Look away, look away Look away, Dixieland <laughs> Sing it, fellas. Someone's got a serious deep voice yeah. going on there. That's like it's not quite Abby Fentonics or Jeff from uh the I was born. Early Lord, one frost to more. Look away, look away, look away, Dixie. Every time I do Elvis, I see something different out of him. You know what I mean? One minute he's got like he's all go. Yep. The next minute he's he's just so deep. I mean, this one, you know, he's well and truly here. I mean, he really gets into it when he closes his eyes, doesn't he? Elvis. Yeah. But those those tones, it's he's just so instantly recognisable, and there's nobody else. You know, if you watch our channel regularly, you know that we sort of compare or heard that in that or sounds yeah, yeah. a bit like that. He's on his own. I don't hear anybody else like that. I just know it's Elvis and that is mm -hmm. him. There's nobody else out there that brings those tones to the level that I hear from Elvis. And an interesting song, you know, like you said, a trilogy of, you know, American trilogy of songs. Um,. Yeah, I mean, he, he's older here, isn't he? Because I've been used to seeing him in the fifties. I think uh, yep. a lot of the a lot of the ones. Obviously, this is sort of later on in in his in his life. Yeah. Um, so yeah, interesting to to see him on on stage. You know, 
being older and and but he's still got that still rocking it still rocking it and he, yeah, i mean rocking. here is you know he's got the jumpsuits the rhinestones um his iconic sort of showman kung fu moves that he, he used to put in there a lot in his routines um the um the backing singers there <clears throat> they were known as the jordanaires um right. and they were iconic in their own right like i say you picked out the the, the deep voice there um i don't know if you remember it um in the UK, we had a, a, a comedian called Freddie Starr, and he used to do a, a very good impression of um, Elvis. And he used to do this American Trilogy one. And I remember he, um, it was a, an evening with Freddie Starr or something, and he had the, the original Jordanaires on there doing it as well. And it sounded oh, really? brilliant. Even though he was a comedian, he, when he did this, he did it serious. Although he used to speed it up and slow it down in bits. Um, it was also featured in the song uh, in the movie. This song was featured in the movie Kick Ass. A uh, very um, uh, good scene from that. Um, yeah. So what else can I add to it? Um, it was uh, he started. He began singing it in concert in uh, 1972. A live recording made the following month was released as a single by RCA Records. And the B side of that single was the first time ever I saw your face. Oh, iconic song. My favourite is by George Michael. Okay. Um, something you could do for our engagement would be happy. Uh, thumbs up on the video. Uh, engaged? <laughs> no, I realised as soon as I said it. Uh, what I meant to say <laughs> was to get you lot engaged. Oh, in okay. Uh, not that Glad we, you cleared that up. <laughs> uh, we got an announcement. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, you should put it in the old uh, thumbnail. You know, massive announcements. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're hilarious uh, that would help us out at the channel alright mate thank you very keep, much keep back to serious going, stuff Mr. Mr P you know your daddy's bound to die but all my trials Lord so work out if he was crying or sweating. Not sweating. He's definitely sweating. It amazes me. It doesn't even look like a mouth's open, do you know what I mean? It. He wanted to give it, didn't he? He was, yeah, he was he, giving it. He, yeah, he just when I do this with a lip, bring it, bring it. Yeah, you could tell. I mean, he's he's the passion there, and and mm. just even when he wasn't singing, just to build up to everybody else, you can see him just going, "Come on, you yeah, know, yeah, let's give it some," you know. Yeah, cool. Yeah, total performer, indeed. Um, slow, the fast, performer. dancing, not dancing, outfits. Yeah, he had the lot, didn't he, really? And it all going on. Total Showman. Total Showman he was indeed. So, American Ooh. Trilogy. There you go, from 1973. Aloha. Um, go on, where are you going you with can, that? No, you can score this one first. This, this, well, this it, 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 it's such an iconic song. Uh, beautiful setting. Great sound there um, all around. I would probably go up somewhere. I mean, it's a high one because it's so iconic. It's a 9.7 from me up there. Okay, nine point seven. All right, it's the first time I've ever, I ever heard it. All right, okay. So I can know, I can tell it's passionate, and I can tell why it's a big song mm. um, with Alvis. So uh, yeah, I, I would give it a nine. Okay, nine nine point seven, nine point four. Four. Yeah, nine point four up there. 
Uh, first time you've heard it. You haven't watched a Kick-Ass movie. It's in that. No, I haven't. No, no. Okay. No, I haven't. Before. Indeed. First time I've heard that song. One hundred percent. There you go. Ladies yeah, interesting. 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 Exclusive on the channel. All right. Uh, thanks for joining us at Britpop Extract today. Until tomorrow for another reaction from us. It's goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from him over there. Goodbye. Bye. He's a twentieth-century boy. 